Hello everyone and welcome to our series dedicated to demystifying SAP transactions. Today, we are diving into the sometimes turbulent waters of the SU01 transaction code. So brace yourselves because you are about to unveil the secrets of this crucial SAP user management function. The SU01 transaction, my dear listeners, is the equivalent of a Cerberus in the world of SAP. Its mission to guard the gates of your SAP kingdom, controlling who can enter and who can, let's say, say out. SU01 isn't just a transaction, it's a vital tool for SAP administrators. Imagine a world where anyone can access your most sensitive data. Scary, isn't it? SU01 prevents this chaos by giving you the power to create, modify, and delete users. Basically, it's your magic wand for managing who has access to what in your SAP system. So who gets to wield this mighty magic wand? No, it's not a reporter, but rather system administrators and IT security managers. These behind the scenes heroes armed with the SU01 ensure that only the chosen ones means authorized users can access company data. Wondering when to use this transaction? Well, every time a new employee joins the team, a user changes role or leaves the company, for example. Our friends, the administrators, spring into action. They use the transaction SU01 to create new user profile, adjust permissions, or even lock out those accounts that have been become obsolete. It's a bit like managing invitation to a very exclusive party. Let's find out now how to use this transaction directly in SAP. We are now here in SAP and we will directly launch the transaction code SU01, so user maintenance. This is the title of the transaction. And first, this is the selection screen. So from this selection screen, you will be able to use or to specify a specific user in this field. So this is my username. We will use this one in our example in order to check and to discover the transaction code SU01. Directly from this transaction code and for this view, you can so insert the name of the user and create a new user, for example, in this case, please let it blank because you will create a new user or directly enter the name of the new user. You can, if you insert here a name of the user, change it. So with this button, display it with this button, delete it with this button. You can also make a copy of this user you can lock or unlock the user if he attempts a lot of um, wrong passwords, for example. And with this button, you can so um, change the password or reset the password to a specific user. Let's jump into the user view directly in editing mode. If you need to go in display or in editing once you are already um, in this view, you can simply click on this button. It will change between display and change mode. So in this view, you have a lot of information and a lot of different tabs. The first one is the address tab, where you will find some information regarding the person first in this section. So the title, is it a Mr., a Mrs., and so on. The last name, the first name, you can see here the full name and the language of the person. So they are not mandatory fields, but in order to give some information to ASAP and to be more precise, please insert a value in these fields. You have also information regarding the work center. So where the person is working, what is his function, what is his department, the room number, the floor, and also the building code if needed or if you have for sure. You also have some information regarding the communication. So what is his telephone number, the extension, the mobile phone, the email address and so on. So a lot of um, communication information. And finally, the company where the worker is working for. 
Then you have the logon data. So this is also a crucial tab where you will find some information regarding the specific user in the SAP database. First, here it's the password. So you can, for example, reset the password to a user by inserting here a new password in both fields, the new password, and then repeat the new password. Or you can also use the generate button if you want that ACP create itself a new password for the user. You can also indicate here, for example, a validity period for this specific user. So let's suppose it's not a permanent contract, but the user is not working for the company um, until, for example, the end of the year. Then in the valid to date, you will insert, for example, the 31st point 12 point 20 24 and then the user will be disabled or not valid um, to this period so you can indicate some validity period in order to be more uh, precise in the security for this specific user next tab is the single sign on functionality so this is an important feature if you are using SAP a lot each day or if you need to access the system um, really often. Indeed, this feature is really simple. In fact, it enables you to access your account without entering your password each time manually means that SAP will recover the password from your Windows session, for example, and insert it directly in SAP in order that you jump into your session without entering it manually. It's the single sign on feature and it's really useful for all the SAP users to be more effective and efficient. Then you have the default tab. In this tab, you will have the possibility to indicate to SAP some default values for specific fields such as the default logon language, such as the default decimal notation to use, the date format, the time format, and also here the output device, so the printer to use once you will make a print function from an SAP transaction. In my case, SAP will use the printer LP01 once I will execute the print function from an SAP transaction. And here, finally, you have the possibility to indicate a personal time zone in order to be um, on a specific time zone, um, but it's not a mandatory value for sure. Then let's jump into the next tab, the parameters. The parameter ID is a crucial feature in ASAP. It's like the variant option or feature, but it's for all the transaction. Indeed, each field or most of the fields have their own parameter ID. And if you indicate the parameter ID for a specific field here, you can enter here a parameter value. Means that for each time you will encounter the a specific field in an SAP transaction, SAP will take the value you enter in this field and will automatically implement it in the specific field in the SAP window. Then it's more faster because you will not have to enter a value in the same field each time. SAP will look at your parameter ID and will fulfill automatically the fields in question in each the transaction of SAP you are using and will complete it so automatically. For example, if you are creating a purchasing order on a specific purchasing group, for example, and you are using always the same purchasing group, then you can enter here the parameter of uh, the parameter ID of the purchasing group and here the uh, purchasing group value. And each time you will have to face to this specific field, um, for example, in a selection screen or directly in the creation screen and so on, SAP will look at your parameter ID and will enter automatically the value in the purchasing um, group, um, the parameter value you entered here. So it's really useful in order to be faster and faster each time and more efficient. And finally, here you have the roles 
of an SAP user. So this is a, a crucial feature in SAP if you want to access or to be able to use a specific transaction. What is a role in SAP? A role is a simple object which contains transactions and inside authorization objects. For example, you can create purchase order, but on a specific company only. So this is an authorization object. So a role is composed of some transactions which are composed of specific authorization objects. And if you give a specific role to your user in this table, then the user will have the possibility to execute the uh, required or mentioned transaction code. And it's really simple. You just have to go in the user in change mode and then add the specific SAP roles or Z roles you have created. And it's really also useful because you can here specify start date and end date if you need to access some uh, sensitive data only until a specific date. For example, until the end of the month, then you will just enter the end of the month date in this end date field. It's really simple. So this is the user management uh, tool in SAP SU01. It offers also a lot of additional features, but these are the most important.